OK, so welcome. In this equation, what we're given is we're given a slope. Um, and in this case, what we have is um, we, have a, we have a table that does not have values that are right next to each other. But that's OK, because when we're trying to determine the slope, all we need to do is just pick two values and find the change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x coordinate. And that's it. We don't need to find the, va the change between all of them. And the change doesn't have to be you know, value. It doesn't have to be negative 2 and negative 1, or 0 and 1, or 3 and 4. It can be different. That's OK. We just need to make sure we find the change in those two values. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the, what is the change in my y coordinates over the change in my x coordinates. Now, we can pick any two values we want to. All right? And in this case, I'm going to pick uh, 3 and 5 and negative 5 and negative 9. So if I look at my y coordinates, what is the change between these two? Well, you can easily say that, yes, the change, um, you can see that the change, the difference between these two is 4. But let's go and take a look at how we're going to write that. So I say negative 5 minus a negative 5 over, and then now let's go and do uh, the change in the x coordinates, which would be 5 minus 3. Because remember, to find the change between two values, if I say I'm 10 years old and you're 20 years old, to find the change in our, dis in our uh, ages, you're going to subtract your age minus my, my age. And you'll see, oh, the change in our ages is 10. So that's the same, <laughs> excuse me. That's the same thing we're going to do with our coordinates. We're going to want to find the difference of them to be able to find actually how much they're changing. So what I notice here is I have a negative 9 minus a negative 5. That's going to produce a double negative, which will produce me with a negative 4. And then I have 5 minus 3, which is a positive 2. Now, negative 4 divided by 2 is going to equal a negative 2. So that is going to be the change in my values, or the change in my y coordinates or my x coordinates, which we call our slope. So the slope in this equation is negative 2. Thanks.